Welcome back my children to another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening video. Today I will be opening a Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Season 1 um, box or whatever it's called. Yeah, I guess it's the box. So um, it's Joey and Pegasus for the Legendary Duelists. And I got this like last year I believe, I don't remember. But yeah, I've been saving it up. And I'm gonna open it now. So let's see. Experience the Legendary Duelist series from the beginning in Legendary Duelist Season 1. For the first time in almost three years, the vault has reopened and beloved, I believe. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, and beloved. Hard to find cards from Legendary Duelists and Legendary Duelists Ancient Millennium have emerged each box includes two legendary duelist um season one packs one of ten double-sided art cards and one of seven secret secret rare uh variant cards so i think those are the seven secret rares which is pretty cool now that i notice there's a red eyes Fusion monsters, kind of hard to see. I think Red Eye Slash Dragon, so that would be cool to get. Then there's Millennium Ice Restrict. Oh, and Red Eye's Baby Dragon. That's very cool. Very cute, too. Anyways, that is it. So let's see the bottom of the box where there's the barcode. If you guys want to scan it, there's the, the front, the side. Oh, cool. It has a tune. Um, What's the name again? Gear something. I forgot his name. There's Baby Red Eyes, uh, Red Eyes Dragon, Toon Dark Magician, Toon White Eyes, White Eyes, White Eyes Blue Dragon, and Toon Cyber Dragon. Pretty cool. And yeah, so I'm just gonna open it. I have another one, I believe. If I don't remember, if I remember correctly, I'll open that another time. But uh. I just wanted to open one because I mean I I bought it at Target I believe last year oh my goodness so I, they're not sold anymore at Target and I for sure know that they're much expensive now so I definitely want to open them one by one Otherwise, it's like, if I open both of them, then I'm going to miss out on opening another one later on. And I don't want to waste so much money whenever I do, if I do buy more. But I'd rather leave that for the future. And since I have two, I'd rather open them one by one. So that's it, there's the empty box, and I already saw the card, so it's Gearfried, the Gearfried, the Red Eyes Iron Dragon, the Secret Rare, that is very cool. It's inside this little plastic, and I think the one behind it is um, the double-sided art card. So I think, I don't know if that's, um, that's the back of, of every double-sided card. But yeah, I am going to open it though, because I do want to see it. So let's see. So first is the secret rare. It's a warrior. There's the limited edition. It has the same attack and defense as the normal Gear Free, uh, Gear Freed, the Iron Knight. So yeah, very nice card. I would have liked getting the Fusion one or the the Red Eyes Baby Dragon. Hopefully, the other box I have has it. That would be cool. So let's see. This is the double sided art card. So I like that. It has all the tunes right there, all five of them. Well, there's more, but. Oh, and there's a uh, Cyrus uh, Truesdale. If that's how you say his name, 
Truesdale or Trustdale maybe. Interesting. There's a GX character. You would think it would be one of the the original cast of the first Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's GX GX um, character. But it's pretty cool. I like it, and it's a very shiny. So it's Cyrus, and then uh, behind him there's that fusion, the gear, the Roid card. I forgot the name of it. Super Roid something maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. And now for three. No wait, two packs. Is it two packs? Yeah, they're very big. They have 18, 18 cards inside. That's very cool. So yeah, I'm gonna open it right away. Let's see what's inside. I wanna save one of the packs to collect it. Let's see if this one comes out nicely. Um, looks okay, I guess. Could've done better. Anyways, let's take out the cards. All right, so I'm not gonna bother doing the card trick. I don't know if there's a card trick. I don't know where's the shiny and whatnot. But yeah, anyways, first off is Cyber Dark uh, Horn, a machine card. Cool. Then there's ancient an ancient gear catapult. So one of the eight ancient gear cards. A spell card for it. Cool. Next is oh Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Is that the same one from here? No, that's Red Eyes Baby Dragon. Okay, never mind. Okay, very cool. So he's basically one of the cards from the artwork right there. So let's see if I collect all of them. First off is Red Eyes Toon Dragon. So he's a dragon tune. Oh look, there's the uh Toon Dark Magician. So that's two. All right, so gotta take that out. All right, whoops. All right, whatever. There's Thousand Eyes Restrict. This, this is not the same one, right? Okay, he's very different, Never mind. I keep thinking they're like the, the ones right here. Anyways, there he is, Spellcaster Fusion. Then there's Sea Stealth Attack. A continuous trap and it has a uh, make a tsunami there or the card that looks like him basically there's a black metal dragon very cool card next is cyber dark cannon is that like a worm it's kind of hard to tell it's a dra dragon apparently it doesn't look like a dragon but okay that then there's a black Black Dragon's Chick. Wait, what? Black Dragon's Chick? Isn't this Red Eyes? Yeah, Red Eyes Baby Dragon? No, wait. Red Eyes Chick Dragon? Chick Red Eyes Dragon? I forgot. But I don't remember it being Black Dragon's Chick. What? I for sure remember this card being named Red Eyes chick dragon or a baby dragon something like that i have the card i have it somewhere I, i'm not gonna look for it because it's gonna take me a lot of time but i know the card is not named black dragon's chick that's so weird i guess they changed it for some reason maybe that's why there's a red eyes baby dragon here i don't know anyways next card is crystal beast topaz tiger not sure why they're adding these cards with the uh, Joey and Pegasus. Kind of weird, but okay. Ooh, Amazonas Baby Tiger. That's a cute little tiger. So this is one of uh, my my Valentine's cards. Very cool. Also, he looks very like soulless because of the eyes. He it looks like he generally doesn't have any uh, eyeballs. Uh, what's the the pupils there we go pupils what's inside the eye i'm assuming i think if i'm not incorrect but i do like to shine very cool okay so next one is whoo amazon is call and then right here the um the letters of the card are in blue shiny 
shininess or blue holographic, I guess you can call it. I don't know. It looks very nice. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but on in person, it looks very nice. The shine of the blue, the blue letters. I like that. I don't know if this is considered like an ultra rare, but yeah, another My Valentine card, I'm assuming. Anyways, next card is uh, Machina or Machina, Machina, Resavenger, Resavenger. Is that supposed to be like Bandit Keith? A card from Bandit Keith? Not quite sure. Anyways, there's the full card actually. Pretty cool. All right, next card is Tomb Barrel Dragon. Is that part of it? He's not part of it, but I'll still put him there because why not? Then there's Tune Alligator. Uh, I'm not sure if he counts as a tune, like an actual tune like them, but why not? All right, there's Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, a Machine Fusion. Oh, Ancient Gear Golem. I think that's um, that's the name of the, the this little tune. Tune Ancient Ancient Gear Golem, if I'm not incorrect. All right, so there's the card. Then the next card is a Legendary Ocean. For sure, a Miko Tsunami card. And then there's Rainbow Refraction. And that is it. All right, next pack. So each pack seems like it contains three holographics. Oh great, I messed it up, whatever. So there we go, all right. Next card is Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. So it gives you a very big pounding as it shows his big fist. Then there's Toon Cannon Soldier. Is that part of it? No, he's not part of the the picture right here. But he is a tune. So very, very cool and very interesting. I'll leave him there. Then there's Crystal Beacon for the Crystal Beasts. Then Rainbow Dragon. Cool. Imagine he was a secret rare. That would have been that would have been nice. But yeah, anyways. Crystal Beast um Amethyst Cat. A cute cat then oh rainbow over dragon nice seven crystal beast monsters to summon this card it's very cool wait what i just noticed is this whoa the the shininess of the letters are purple that's very nice wait wait a minute have i not noticed it then let me see huh Okay, so this one is regular ultra rare golden letters. These two have blue letters. I didn't notice the one for baby tiger. Amazon is baby tiger. But they both have blue letters for for their um their names. That is very nice. It's maybe like a archetype thing, like the Amazonists have blue letters. And I'm assuming like the Crystal Beast and Rainbow Dragons have maybe purple letters. That's what I'm gonna assume, I'm not quite sure. But it does have purple letters instead of blue. That's very nice. All right, next is Rainbow Bridge. And these are, yes, I was right. These are uh, purple letters again. So it seems like the Crystal Beast cards slash Rainbow Dragon cards have purple letters anyways next card is melfi rabbi that's a cool card whoa for a two star monster has twenty one thousand defense i don't think i remember this card that's very cool it reminds me of my aunt because i call her a bunny very cool i like that card a lot and then there's Crystal Release for Crystal Beasts, an equipped spell card. Then Ancient City Rainbow Ruins, a um, field spell card. Then Cyber Dark Inferno, another field spell card. 
so here's the effect for the card i like showing everything I, so they can guys uh, can see everything there's a toon dark magician um do i have it there yeah i already have it there so never mind then there's ancient gear uh wyvern wyvern however you call it all right next card is um v v vicroid connection zone i believe not quite sure but it's a spell card for the roids then there is rage of kiryu chin it can a quick spell card for water monsters then toon goblin attack force cool um he's not part of the picture unfortunately then uh black metal dragon a red eyes another red eyes monster uh, i mean dragon whatever and then the last card is cyber dark impact but yeah that is it that's the whole opening so out of the tunes uh from the the artwork card or whatever i was only able to get two of them which was dark magician and red eyes i did not get the others but i did get these four tunes all different not part of the artwork right here but you know whatever and that's the front so yeah that is the opening it's pretty cool i like seeing all those cards my favorites so far from these cards for sure are the tunes i like the tunes but i will say this is my favorite card out of all the, the ones i've got so far it's like a simple card uh, yet again it's very cool and i love how it has twenty one thousand defense and it's a two star monster melfi rabbit or rabbi i mean let's actually read that rabbi's up on the on that favorite stump again looking all around the forest at all the fluffy friends do you like exploring too good let's go find more methley friends with rabbi so i'm assuming there's more of them i don't know but yeah that's pretty much it i found it very interesting that um different archetypes have different color letters and yeah very nice but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! opening video. Welcome back my children to another Garfield 2023 calendar segment. It is the segment where I continue showing the comic strips for today. And the days between today and the previous video where my hands appear. Anyways, I stayed on 15th of February. There we go. So that's the comic strip. Now for the next day, February 16th on a Thursday. So Garfield is playing cards with his little teddy bear. And now I think he's gonna draw a card. Pokey never complains when I cheat. <laughs> I mean, obviously he's a, a teddy bear, he's not real. So I guess he was cheating right here. I'm not sure. sure what he was doing but okay now for february 17th on a friday get up garfield you've got things to do oh there's motivation for you cats normally don't do anything so yeah all right now for february 18th and 19th they count for two days well yeah two days and one comic strip for two days this is a story about a cat who always gets his way how's how is this a fairy tale just read <laughs> because it's true uh every cat gets their way all right now for today's date february 20th on a monday how does Odi keep his brain sharp munch 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 he's eating something by eating a crossword puzzle every day <laughs> Because dogs, they eat anything. They'll eat, they'll eat food, they'll eat pieces of certain items or whatever. Yeah. Oh, and it's President's Day today. Cool. Damn it, I've been forgetting to check if there's special days on the dates. Now that I think about it. Let me see. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right, on the 14th, I forgot to see that it should say 
St. Valentine's Day? Yeah. What are dates I've been missing? I don't know. Too much work trying to look for them, to be honest. But these came off, these pages. Anyways, that is it. I'll be back on the next video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.